All right, gotta do some unboxing. Where's my cutting tool for that? <gasps> Perfect. Hmm. Hi everybody, welcome to All Games New and Old. This is David Rodriguez. Uh, I am recording this video like I have a few others on the 4th of July. So you may hear bangs and crackles and maybe some cars drive by because I have the garage door open to get some nice air circulation in here. So hopefully that won't be too distracting. But uh, you know, the bangs and whatnot, that might actually be appropriate because today I'm going to be unboxing tiny epic pirates and as you know, Pirates will have cannons and grape shot and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, so, and they may be breaking each other's bones. So that's some good crackling right there. So, anyway, this is the deluxe edition. Um, I also got an expansion with it, but I'm not going to unbox that today. I may do that another time. And it's not at all because I seem to have misplaced it. Uh, definitely not that. Uh, it is tiny. It's tiny. So sometimes tiny things get misplaced, but I will find it. Anyway, uh, that's okay, because a lot of times when you buy a game, you might just buy the starter set. Anyway, this is um, from the Kickstarter, and somehow I've gone months, literal months, without opening this. And I'm going to say it was all part of my plan, but it wasn't. <laughs> I'm lying. Oh, you're, you're a tough one. You're a tough box. Okay. Go in there. All right, I think I got it. No, I didn't. All right, let me try the other side. I'll try the other side. Hold on. There we go. Okay. I swear... Sometimes. Oh boy. I'm having some tough boxes today. This is the third one I've done, but the second second one where it's got caught and not been able to actually open it. So, that's alright. You'd think someone would invent a better tool for opening boxes than a pizza cutter, but there's nothing. There's nothing. So, we're stuck with what we're stuck with. Alright, so Tiny Epic Pirates. Uh, super love the art on the cover. Uh, just gorgeous. Makes me want to God to see and probably be killed. Alright, this is by Scott Alms, designed by Scott Alms, and put out by Gamelin Games, who put out the entire Tiny Epic series. Um, I don't have all the Tiny Epic games. The ones that I do have and have played, I really like. Uh, Tiny Epic Galaxies, Tiny Epic Defenders, uh, Tiny Epic Zombies. I feel like I'm forgetting one that we have, but... Anyway, there's a bunch of them. There's like a, something for almost anything that you could want, and I'm sure they're just going to keep coming out with more. Oh boy, do you hear that? Pirates or fireworks? Pirates or fire? I'm going to say it's probably actually fireworks. I'm sorry, but okay. Ooh, even on the inside of the box, there is a cool picture. I wonder if this game uses the inside of the box for something. Maybe. Either way, but it's cool. <clears throat> All right, here is our awesome rule book. It has a QR code so you can scan and, and see something that will teach you how to play. I don't know who does it. Could be Rodney Smith, maybe. Could be somebody else. I don't know. Sorry somebody else if I didn't name you. I only named Rodney. What do you expect? Okay. Shows you all the components, which is cool. One thing that constantly amazes me about these games is the sheer amount of stuff they actually cram into these little boxes. I, I know they're, the pieces are going to be small, but still. All right. Wow, okay. Oh, there's the solo rules over here, which is cool. I always like it when there's at least a solo option in case uh, I'm in the mid to play and no one else is or they're not around. It doesn't happen too much to me. There's usually people around. Okay, so here, oh my gosh. Okay, so you have to forgive me. I don't know if there's um, a difference in what I'm gonna have versus, I guess, whatever the not deluxe edition would be. I couldn't tell you. I assume there might be something. This is really neat. I wonder if you, can you see that okay? Like this is, um, it's like a city, I guess I don't know if meeple's the right word, but it actually has some uh, actual color on there. You can actually see the windows and whatnot, uh, along with some brown cubes. Brown cubes, not as exciting, but the little city thing is very cool. All right, let's see what's in this bag. Okay. Oh, there's more crackling. Okay. Oh, this is a mini expansion. Okay. I see. Okay. So have some more uh, pirates. Looks like Nikki Knuckles, Isabel Surefire, Anila Bones, Sean Keystone, Ben Seaworthy, Nando the Navigator. Like Ben Seaworthy, was he going to be anything other than a pirate or at least a sailor? Unlikely. I mean, what else was he going to do? Be a cobbler? I don't think so. Alright. Uh, okay. So, I'm not sure what this is all for. I'm, I'm guessing this might all be... 
This, I'm sure this is all expansion stuff. Solo Captain, Red Mary, okay. I really like these cards. I'm not sure exactly how you use them. This looks like it has like a tracker around it. Ruthless, bloody, hmm, okay. I don't know, we're gonna find out when we read the rules. But it looks interesting. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put those aside. Okay, wow. There's pieces galore in here. So here's a bunch of tokens. And debate or not, I really wanna open this because you can kind of see what they are. We've got these um, little periscope kind of blue tokens. We've got some ones that have ships on it. Steering wheels, pirate bases. Uh, yeah. So, those all play part, I'm sure. All right. These, okay. This is a bag of bags, looks like. So we got treasures and little skull pirate things. Uh, I know in this game you're trying to bury the most treasure. So I don't know the mechanics. When I get it, when I do a Kickstarter, I'll kind of glance over them and just make sure it's something that looks like I'll enjoy and that I think it looks nice, but I don't, um, I like to kind of, I don't know, I like to be surprised by it. So this has cool little cannon meeples, which I like, and then of course various other colors of cubes, which will be important, I'm sure. Ah, here's some actual pirate meeples. They even have pirate hats. There's a couple different sizes, so I'm curious how that'll play out. Blue, yellow, black, and red. Kind of your basic standard colors. Uh, I wonder how this works for colorblind people. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'd love to hear if any of you know if that's an issue. All right. Oh, here's what I wanted to see. I'm excited about this. Especially in a game this size, you wouldn't expect to get like little plastic, like sculpted ships. And they have little flags you can stick it on too. I don't think I'm going to stick the flags in right now, but hopefully you can see them right there. Um, I don't want them to break or anything like that, but. How cool is that for such a tiny game to have cool little pirate ships? That's really awesome. So, I like that. I like the pirate theme a lot. Um, my wife and I were sort of working on designing a game a bit back, and I'm sure we'll get back to it, but <laughs> life's been all crazy, so uh, it's up where we will. But we were kind of collecting pirate games for a little bit because we wanted to see if there's anything that hadn't been done, or we didn't want to, you know be too directly the same as something else. So um, these dice are really cool too. Get those out so you can hopefully see it a little better. Ooh. Cool kind of silvery and then gold pips on it. I like them. They don't have any like special special art or anything, but they're really nice. Oh, there goes a loud neighbor with a loud vehicle. Uh, again, I apologize. It's just kind of necessary for the Air circulation. We got little metal coins, not too many of them, but a few little gold metal coins. Very cool. I like metal coins in games. They just feel neat. The only problem is I want to sit there and just play with them during my turn. So maybe since there's only a few, I'm not gonna have like a stack to um to be constantly clanking together. And if I play with my wife, she'd have all the money anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. She's in the room staring at me, that's why I'm talking about my wife. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me get some of the cards out. Let's see if these all have names where they could have only ever been a, um, a pirate. Captain Baron Von Hook. Okay. Captain. He's Captain Hook. All right. Got it. All right. Captain Sing Vane. Captain Wendy Bird. Captain Vera Locke. These are all really cool looking characters. Oh, okay. I got to flip these over to see what these guys are. Jolly Rod, really. Quartermaster Quigley, Taylor True North, Willow Watch, Ursula Bain. All right, that's a awesome name, Ursula Bain. I wow, I dig that. All right, Eliza Lucky, Betty Blunderbuss. I'm guessing all their names too. I have something to do with what they're good at. Buck Cannon, I have a feeling, and he's got a little cannon icon. I don't know what that means for the game, but I'm assuming he shoots cannons well. Sydney Sweetwater. Lisa Legacy. Doc Blockley. Oh, this is, a, this is actually even a better. Alice O'Malis. Come on, that's great. I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's awesome. And honestly, of all the characters so far, she looks the most terrifying. Tina Trickshot, Sally Shursight, Chopper Donovan, Jack 
Fuse Rogers. Okay, that was actually a cannon, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you heard that. I really have no idea what my microphone's picking up from the background, so I'm, I'm sorry if it's uh, very distracting, but I mean, I'm, I'm kind of in the mood now because of all the bangs and stuff. Sarah Silver, Cutter Fang, Salty Pete, Pale Pim, he is kind of pale, Black Eyed Brutus, Reyna Rumor, Lieutenant Flint, Silent Seamus. And then we got cool ships. Very awesome. All right. Let's see what else we have in this. I'm already kind of amazed at how many things I pulled out of this tiny little box. All right. <clears throat> got a cool little bag here. I imagine you're doing some blind draws out of that or something. Seems nice. You know. Uh, a lot of times when games have these draw bags, they're sometimes not a great quality, but I don't feel any loose threads in there, which is nice. That's usually the biggest thing is I'll be pulling out things and also pull out a handful of threads the color of the bag, and that's, eh, it's all right, but it's kind of annoying. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, well, all right. All right, so we got more of these cards. Surefire. I wonder if these are like character or uh, player boards. I'm not. I'm not certain, to be honest with you. So, I never fail to move my hand in the wrong direction to get this better in view of the camera. I I always fail to do that. It's terrible. All right, we'll get there. Okay. Uh, legend. All right. Is this? I think that might be like a player aid sort of thing. And then I believe these make up the map you play on. And I'm not sure how you design your map, if it's random or what. So, they're very pretty, though. I love when there's little, like, pictures of, of town stuff going on. I don't know why that, it, even though it's super tiny and it can only be so detailed, that, I don't know, man. That always just gets to me. So, uh, I like seeing that. That's fun. Like, I don't know. I like to imagine what's going on in those weird cities. I was like, maybe it's kind of... I can't tell that's just, like, a stone... Feature like an ancient temple. It looks a little too carved to be just a regular like stone feature, but pretty neat. Really cool looking stuff. And then this card, I'm not sure what this is. I'm wondering if this is like a market kind of thing because it has like these areas where like you put things there that you're gonna buy perhaps. Hmm. I don't know. But I, yeah, I mean it looks like a market of course because the guy is there being like, look at my wares, look at everything I have. So uh, very cool. Um, God, there's so much in this tiny box. It's insane. And then the question was always, am I ever going to be able to fit it back in the box and not have it be bulging out? And I don't know the answer, and I'm not going to make you watch me try to do that. So, anyway, uh, if nothing else, this game looks super pretty. Uh, weirdly, I don't think I've heard that much about people's opinions of it. So, I don't know. It's a good sign, a bad sign, or no particular sign at all. Uh, but either way, um, you know, the Tiny Epic Games are not super expensive, which is kind of nice. And I'm excited to try it because I like the whole pirate theme. So, uh, at some point, I will do a review of this. I'm not sure when, but that will be coming down the pipeline eventually. Uh, in the meantime, I hope this has been helpful to you to see what all comes in this box and maybe help you decide whether or not it's something that you might want to try to get for yourself. Um, so if you did find this helpful, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you know when I next put up a video. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you around the table at All Games New and Old. Have a great day. Bye.